Hopefully uh, it gets up before the barracuda eats it. Oh, I see it now. Oh, it looks good, whatever it is. Oh. I just picked up two blocks of chum and I'm gonna head out in my buddy's new contender. We're basically trial running it, but we're gonna try to catch some fish too. Since it's kind of windy, I think we're gonna just stick on the patch reefs, maybe troll some plugs for a grouper, and then maybe do some yelltail fishing. We'll try to get some live pilchards with the chum for bait, but uh, we'll see how we do. Let's go. Yeah, that's a good looking boat. turn the aerator on before? No, it's the first time. <laughs> first time, first time. Well, there we go. I wish there was another cleat like right here. Something. Yeah, I know. There's one up in the middle, but that's it. Right there, that's it. That'll work. How does it come up? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not used to such fancy equipment. I know, I go either way. It's all new. Start hitting it with a hammer. Open! That's how my boat works. Alright, I got a pinfish in there too. Dang it. Getting some. Here, uh, you can put the net down. Like, okay. yeah. And then I... Birds. They're there every day, every morning, every evening. All right. Nice. <laughs> that was quick. Where do we want this bad boy? Like back here, maybe? Noise, noise. each other is where it gets sketchy. some nice ones in there.
are those? Are those? They're too fast to be valley hoop. They're speedos. Holy. Those are like grouper candy. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. This doesn't work out. We can always drift along the patch race. Damn, this seaweed is f Big barracuda. All right, barracuda is right behind the boat. That might be something good. Hopefully, uh, it gets up before the barracuda eats it. Unless it is a barracuda. Oh, I see it now. Oh, it looks good, whatever it is. Oh, um... Yellow Jack. Oh boy! Dang, that's a big one. <laughs> oh my god. First one of the day. First yeah. fish on the boat. Fucking Yellow Jack. Dude, I'll, uh, I'll sashimi him up right here. Aren't they really good sushi? Yeah, they are. Really white meat. They're good on the grill, too. Cool. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Good work. Yeah, buddy. Woo, it's rocky out here. Just ballyhoo. Whoa, oh, he's a mutton snapper. Oh, See this guy. Holy Holy Dang. 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 Alright, first bait going out. Oh, another uh, yellow jack. Woo. That's a good size right there. Alright, here's a bunch of little chunkies. You're not gonna be able to resist this. Bring me the gold! I'm on already. Yeah! Yeah, a little mangrove. It's a good sign though. This feels a little bit better. Not much better, but. Oh, it's a grunt. What do you know? Oh. What, what was that? I don't know. It had a little size to it. I know yellow jack. I've got yellow jack fever today. I'm just chunking, chunking away. Barracuda? Oh. He's a mean looking barracuda. That's a danger zone animal right there. Yeah. Look at that face. Baiting if I should, if it's worth jumping in to get it. Am I going in? <laughs> I do have a mask. I don't have a snorkel, but that's fine. I might strap on my mask and I could get both of ours. I'll just follow the line, I guess. Maybe give it a little bit of slack. Oh boy. Good. 
No fish though. <laughs> Alright, now your turn. <laughs> You're good too. Just wrapped around barnacles. I wonder if it's the same one. Not yeah. Got a little snapper. Yeah. Oh, that felt good too. It didn't feel like a barracuda. Yellow jack? Oh, yellow jack. Yeah. Beautiful. Good good for sashimi. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. It is, if you see that time right there, it's 
11.44 in the morning, or wait, no, p.m. 11.44 p.m. That means when Eric and I, when we got back on the boat, we spent about four hours at his place eating sushi, talking about everything from finances to life. I told Eric that I didn't have a towel at my new place because I haven't moved my clothes in yet. And he even gave me a towel to take a shower tonight. So feedback on the uh, Yellow Jack. It is so good as sushi. I'm about to cook some up here on the stove. It's pretty late at night and I'm pretty tired, but I'm gonna cook some up. So I'm gonna let you guys know how it really tastes. But for reference, if you ever catch a Yellow Jack, put it in your fish box. It is a good fish. It is so good. I may be driving Eric to a marina tomorrow, so I'll do a formal introduction, but let's get to cooking. So on the boat, we're using this traditional Kikoman soy sauce, but now that we're back at home, we're going to use this fancy organic soy sauce. Honestly. Oh, whoops. I have no idea the difference between organic soy sauce and not, but I do know one thing. Mmm. Mmm. Yellow Jack, super good, super good raw. I could eat this raw all day. But I want to cook it up, so I'm just heating up some extra virgin olive oil here in this pan. And I know a lot of you guys, my subscribers, have been telling me I need a cast iron skillet. And yes, I have one on the on the way in the mail, so I will. But uh, this is all I have today. So what am I going to do with these? Well, instead of eating these completely raw like I wanted to do, there's a little bit of soy sauce that's been marinating on the plate. Um, kind of marinating a little bit on the whole thing. That was not planned, but that's just what's happening. Go ahead and season it with whatever you want. I'm going to be using this Everglades heat, but honestly, if you season it with whatever, even just salt and pepper is completely fine. I'm not going to go too hard on the seasoning because... I want to see what the the fish tastes like. Really interested to see what this fish tastes like cooked. But I already know that for fish dip, smoked, raw, the yellow jack is a super good fish. Don't throw it back in the water. Keep it. This is one of the best fish I think you can catch here on the patch reefs. When it comes to big fish with real nice white meat. That oil is real nice and hot. You can hear it. That's some hot oil. Let's go and drop on. Oh. The oil sounded real hot, but now it doesn't sound hot at all. These stove tops, it's on max seat and it's it's just not getting hot enough. I know I shouldn't complain about things like this because I live in an awesome place, but I might have, I really want to get really good at cooking. I think I'm going to have to find some kind of solution to where I can cook on tops that get nice and hot for my new cast iron skillets because these don't get hot enough. Damn, that's a hot, that Max heat and it's hardly sizzling. That's not how cooking is supposed to be. It's still looking good though. Oh yeah, baby. A plus. So some people think that 
Jack is known for fishy flavor, which it is. Jack Corvell, Corvalli, Corvilli Lolly. But the yellow Jack has absolutely no fish flavor. There's no oily flavor. It's just like a very white meat. It's a very neutral and firm fish. It's good fried. It's good in fish dip. It's good just cooked straight up with a little bit of seasoning. Yellow Jack. What's up? That's hot. Ooh. I can kind of taste a little bit of soy sauce that was stuck to the fish. And it was, it's really good. The soy sauce flavoring mixed with a tiny bit of that Everglades seed. Ooh. If you guys couldn't tell, I have a lot of bananas and I eat a lot of bananas because when I go spear fishing, I always have calf cramps. My calves always cramp up. So... Apparently potassium is supposed to help that, but hasn't helped yet. If you just troll plugs along the reef edge, you'll catch them. If you throw live bait, you'll catch them. They're all over. They're in shallow water and they're in deep water. They're all over the keys, baby. Did you buy me those flowers? Yes, I did. Thanks, Heiko. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have. Yeah. Nice well, hanging with you this weekend, man. Yeah, I had a lot of fun catching the, uh, those yellow jacks. Yeah, definitely. Breaking the new boat in. Right on. Thank you. Yeah, We're man. Next weekend. We'll be doing a lot more fishing coming up soon. Definitely. <laughs> you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Man.